Today, we're gonna to check out the Fuji X-T4 as a vlogging camera with the Fuji 10 to 24 lens. Let's go. What's up everybody? Phil with Tech Gear Fun here today. Just wanted to show you how you can use the Fuji X-T4, how well the Fuji X-T4 does for vlogging. I'm gonna show you a few different modes. We're starting off right now with IBIS on and OIS. This is on the Fujifilm. 10 to 24 lens at 10 millimeters. So pay attention to the corners and see if there's any warpiness. I'm gonna show you with IBIS and OIS on, then I'm gonna turn on electronic stabilization, and then we're gonna turn on the IS boost mode, which is probably not necessarily made for vlogging, but we're gonna check it out anyway. So this is IBIS and OIS. This 10 to 24 lens does have optical image stabilization and the X-T4 has IBIS. I've got it on a tripod held at arm's length, walking on a trail, so it's a little bumpy, not taking any great care necessarily to walk gimbal-like. And IBIS isn't meant to replace a gimbal necessarily, but it should take out some of the shakes. So again, pay attention to the corners, see if there's any crazy warpiness going on as we switch through these modes. So this is IBIS and OIS. What we'll do next is we'll switch over to digital Im image stabilization with IBIS and OIS and we'll see the difference. Okay, this is with digital image stabilization or DIS as they call it. A little DIS on the Fuji plus IBIS and OIS. And there is a slight crop. This is 4K, all the video is in 4K. 24P, got an ND filter on. We're at F8, 148th of a shutter speed. So we're following the reciprocal rule or 180 rule, whatever you'd like to call it in video. But again, this is with IBIS stabilization in the lens and digital stabilization. So this is something new in the Fuji X-T4 digital stabilization. So really quickly in the X-T4, they've also included a bigger battery and now there's a flip out screen, which is great why it's probably now a good vlogging consideration. So try not to look at the flip out screen. It doesn't flip out, it flip up, it flips out, but again, this is with digital image stabilization on IBIS in body stabilization. And the stabilization of the lens is on as well. This is not as stable as it gets, but it's pretty close. And next we're gonna go into the last mode of stabilization. And we'll check out that. Okay, this is all the stabilizations as a plane flies over. Digital image stabilization. An IS boost, they call it. I think it's really designed for more static subjects and maybe on a tripod, not so much moving, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. And again, we're at 10 millimeters for all these clips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in to 14 millimeters. So if there's any warpiness at 10, maybe at 14, it'll go away. So I'm going to just set it back to IBIS and then digital image stabilization, which is the way that I would probably use it. And the next clip you'll see will be at 14 millimeters. So we'll zoom into 14 so you get an idea on, if you zoom in, what that does to any warpiness. And I can't really see with these sunglasses, but if there's any warpiness, oops, that should go, I almost tripped there. So we're gonna check it out. We're gonna turn the, all the stable, well, we're gonna go with digital stabilization, IBIS and lens stabilization, and then we'll zoom into 14 millimeters. Okay, 14 millimeters, you can see I'm zoomed in now. Turned off the IS boost mode, so we have stabilization in the lens, the IBIS stabilization on, and digital stabilization. So this is probably the way that I would use this. And it does get heavy. <laughs> the sound, by the way, is coming from the Ceramonic Blink 500 system, which is a great little microphone system. It's one receiver, two transmitters, and I've got a lav mic on, so the sound you're hearing is coming from that. So this is 14 millimeters again with optical stabilization in the lens, IBIS, and digital stabilization on. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Just wanted to get it out quickly. The X-T4, this is a full production unit. Just hit, or I just got mine yesterday, two days ago. So I wanted just to get this out here if you're considering it for vlogging, and I'm hand-holding this clip too, by the way just to see how it will do. This is the 10 to 24 lens. It does have a flip out screen, like I mentioned, a bigger battery and some other nice features over the X-T3, but that flip out screen is the big one. 
Thanks again for watching this video. I will chat at you again in the next video.